Yeah. So we listened to Lindsay Ploviak's um, podcast, her In It podcast, and it's the 10 tips um, for when she hit Million Dollar Club. And it's such a good podcast. And like, we really resonated it. So resonated with it. So B and I picked our three favorite um, topics. So go ahead and do yours first. Okay. So the first one, here, I'm going to start with the one that really, really got me that I dove, dove into. <clears throat> so one of the one, the first ones, like I listened to the whole podcast and then I went back and I listened again because like the first time you're kind of like soaking it in. And then the second time you can really like pick apart the pieces that resonate with you and like take notes and stuff. So the second time I went in, I was like, wow, this one really like is important to me at this point in my journey. Uh, It's choose peace and ditch comfort. So peace and comfort are not the same thing. Sometimes people mistake them for the same thing because um, when you're at peace, you do feel comfortable. And sometimes when you choose comfort, you you want to disguise it as peace, but the truth is they're not the same. Um, we need to be able to healthily distinguish the difference between peace and comfort in order to be successful. So uh, growth. Growth is the like number one thing that a lot of us are here for. We're here for growth. Um, growth is going to feel uncomfortable, but Growth brings us moments of peace at the end of the day. Uh, It is necessary to get uncomfortable in order to achieve your goals and peace. If you are staying in your comfort zone, that feels safe and it might feel peaceful, but it gets you nowhere. You must get uncomfortable and do the things that build your character in order to enjoy your peace at the end of the day. So for example, Today, I saw my dear friend, her name is Rose uh, at Rose Reflections. She told me I can mention her. (laughs) Um, I saw today that she posted about how she has worked so hard to be able to sit on her front porch, which by the way, is right next to the beach in San Diego uh, with her pup that she got um, seven months ago. And it's been so nice to be able to watch her like fall in love with this dog and like (laughs) treat it like her child because I know she wants kids and stuff. Um, so she, she was sitting on her front porch, uh, on the beach in San Diego with her pup in the sunshine midday on a Monday. Um, and I'm going to use her as an example of what I mean by this, because, uh, she became very successful with network marketing through Arbon. Um, so it's kind of easier for us to resonate with her. Um, she, I watched, I've known her since high school and I've watched her go through a lot of difficult jobs. Uh, she's a Capricorn like myself, which is why I also really resonate with her. Uh, and I have always uh, admired her work ethic as well as you know my own work ethic. So we've always had this connection. And I've seen her go through a lot of really tough jobs, but like stay loyal to them for way too long because loyalty is like Capricorn's middle name. And, um, you know, you don't want to let your company down, but we've both grown to realize that why are we trying to impress a company when we should really be, you know, working for ourselves? So her last job, she was uh, a teacher. She was working with kids and she was working at a school that totally undervalued her. Um, You know, she was being disrespected by her coworkers, and you know all the parents were giving her really a hard time and she would come home and even post about how drained and upset she was but uh she started her network marketing company uh or her business with Arbon, you know in the middle of her teaching journey and even though she would be so drained from you know basically being picked on at work all day for being this like cute white girl in a generally hispanic school Um, she still decided to push all that aside and work on her network marketing company um, and, you know, build her own brand. And her goal was also to help people feel healthier and help people grow. So she stayed uncomfortable for a long period of time. Um, She 
she got uncomfortable for years, you know, mentally, physically, and emotionally in order to achieve the feeling of peace and enjoying a slow and restful Monday at this point in her life, rather than the hustle and bustle that society wants everyone to be a part of on a Monday. Um, so I loved, you know, I love using her as an example because she worked hard and she did that double life for a long time, like the working two jobs, but building her business. And now look at her. She is so peaceful. She walks her dog on the beach for like two hours a day and she's financially comfortable and free. And she's in a very healthy relationship with herself and with her man. Um, and, you know, I love to see it, but she couldn't have ever reached that peace without getting uncomfortable and working towards all of that. Um, and, you know, final piece on that, comfort keeps you safe, but peace is that internal compass that can guide us. I love that. So good. Um, my topic that I picked was comparison because I liked that in the podcast, she didn't say that we ever overcome comparison because we don't. We can you know, say, yeah, comparison's a thief of joy and we're trying not to compare. But at the end of the day, everyone does compare no matter what stage of their journey that they're on. So instead of saying, like, pretending that it's not there, she said, like, embrace it. And instead of comparing yourself, like, to the exception of, like, people that are being super successful, super quick, compare yourself to the actual rule. And so it's like, If we compare ourselves to someone that had quick success, then we're always going to fall short. But if you compare yourself to someone else, then you could be doing way better. So instead of just comparing in general, just know that like, okay, recognize it. Like I'm comparing right now. I need to stop. But why am I comparing? And you kind of dive into like the why of that. But also like you don't want to be a one hit wonder. So like you're going to have quick success. That's awesome. But you're not going to be able to keep it because when you get to the top, if you didn't work for it, you're not going to know what to do at the top to maintain it. And so that's why like we work on maintaining our ranks because with maintaining means that you actually know how to hit it each month and how to do it like with repetition, which with repetition comes consistency. Consistency is the name of the game for network marketing. So Um, Another thing is like, what can I learn from this process? So I feel like I'm in a season like I want to quit my job so bad that I'm just like, I want it so bad. Like I need to rush this process. But in reality, like I'm not doing anything like wrong, but I'm also there's so what I want you guys to do is basically make a list and like have this in your head when you feel this way and you're like, I want to get through this process. I want to rush, rush, rush. Like, okay, with this list, like, what can I learn right now? And what can I do better? And if you are hitting all the things, like, let's say you list like, okay, I can make more reels. I could do more reach outs, like all of this. If you're already doing that, then right now you're in a season of just being consistent. You're not in a season of, I need to do more. I need to rush this. I need to do this. Like, I feel like sometimes we push ourselves and stress ourselves out. And I'm speaking from myself too. I'm definitely the person that would like push myself to be like, I need to do more. I need to do more and then hit burnout. And it's just like not attainable. So I think like if I'm doing all the right things, then okay, I need to just focus on being consistent right now and building. So that was definitely one of the points. Um, did you do another point? Or Yeah, I have another point. Okay, cool. Did you do three though? I did two. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, the other main point that I really resonated with was you have to have your own back. And I, you know, have recently been, I started a new this like applies to business and relationships. And I'm kind of going to explain why it resonates with me on both ends. So um, I am sure as most of us do, I have a bunch of past relationship trauma and it's super awesome. You deal with it all the time and it comes and goes like a roller coaster. Um, But I started a new relationship in, uh, you know, September-ish. And so far it's been healthier than any other relationship that I've had but I you know 
always get triggered by traumatic things that have happened to me. And I let that, um, let myself get into old toxic patterns that I used to always resort to. And, you know, that this past year of my life has been full of growth and learning experiences. Um, I started my business with Monet. I became friends with this one over here, learned everything that I needed to learn about narcissistic abuse. Um, and I've learned a lot about myself too. And, you know, recently I was dealing with a lot of mental health issues. I think that it is a whole array of things. I hurt my spine and I got a concussion and it sent me down this spiraling, (laughs) terrible (laughs) mental health episode. And, um, I started, you know, reaching towards those like codependent habits that I used to always have in relationships and they're not cute. And I hate being at that point, but it happens. It's like a, it's like a, you know, trauma trigger. And you just kind of, that's like my comfort zone was like, you know, being codependent. Um, And, you know, this one and Shay helped me realize that I was showing patterns of codependency. And I really had to like sit down with myself and look at that. Um, and come back to the point that I know, and it's deep in here and deep in here is that, but sometimes I forget about it, is that you have to be whole on your own. You can't, you know, you can't rely on reassurance from other people all the time. Um, you can't rely on reassurance from your loved ones, uh, your friends, your boyfriend, whatever you, you have to be whole and happy with yourself. And so when she starts talking about, you have to have your own back that applies that hit me here. Like when it comes to business and relationships and friendships and everything in life, um, you know, the first person, person, (laughs) the first person (laughs) that you should be loyal to is yourself. 100% like that's a rule to live by. Um, and I'll live and by that business. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like, it, it applies to everything. Like you can apply it to business and relationships and friendships and really anything. Um, so the first person you should be loyal to is yourself. And I had to relearn that the past couple weeks. So when I was listening to this podcast last night and today, I was like, gosh, darn, I gotta have, (laughs) I gotta have my own back, man. Um, cause you really can't rely on reassurance from others. Like I said, or you can't internalize anything and everything that others tell you because that'll just, you know, ruin yourself at the end of the day. Um, when it comes to the business and, uh, you know, also relationships shit and, and growing, you know, you have to replace, I should have known better with now I know better. You have to give yourself grace because uh, if you don't forgive yourself, you know, self-shame is self-sabotage and we don't want to be self-sabotaging ourselves. So, uh, you know, I want you to take a step back and look at your situation and cut off the self-shame and forgive yourself and say, now I know better instead of, well, I should have known better and I fucked up. And that it, once you say like, oh, I fucked up, like, and you start beating yourself up, it's really hard to dig yourself out of that hole that you just dug yourself into. Um, and this quote also very short and sweet, but I love it. Uh, so please repeat after me. <laughs> One thing about me. One thing about me. I always get through it. I always get through it. And that's true. And I think that all of you can resonate with that one thing about me I always get through it because look at us now we've all been through so much bullshit in this life (laughs) but we're we're sitting here and we're leading a mindset call so it's like one thing about me I always get through it and I love that mic drop (laughs) I'm so proud of you dude thanks um okay so my next point was um or I guess her point was that no one can stop you faster than you can stop yourself which I resonated with so much because of self-doubt and I think like the main part of what she was talking about was basically like you know 
a comment can kick you off or, you know, someone being mean to you can knock you off here and there, but like no one knocks you off worse than like your self doubt and like what you tell yourself in your head. And so, um, you know, like I preach heavy on affirmations, but like, what are you telling yourself every day? Like, do you talk to yourself? Like be said, like, are you nice to yourself? Do you talk to yourself in like an upbeat, like, kind way do you talk to yourself the way you would talk to someone you love or do you beat yourself up because if you beat yourself up like she said that spiral is just gonna go downhill and it's just not beneficial so um in this business no like you are gonna fail at things and like fail forward fail often is like the Morgan Freeman quote that like I love because if we're not failing then we're not learning and like in my eyes it's never a fail it's either okay, like what lesson can I learn? So um, going back to that, like, do you feel that the team supports you? And if you don't, like why? And find that reason why. And so like finding a runner buddy, like maybe you're like, well, I'm just not super close to the entire team. And I just want like, you know, just one person to run with, then like reach out to that person, take initiative for your business and like ask them like, Hey, will you be my runner this month, this week, this day, whatever you need? Like the team is here. There's definitely someone that is in your same season. Then like, just open up about it, you know? Um, Shout out Shay. Yeah. Like Shay and B are always runners. Like Morgan and I always message each other when I was not doing well, going through like that breakup and depression and everything like I hit her up like I need you to check on me like I'm not doing well and that's something you know like take that initiative to where it's like okay I'm not doing well this is what I need and like voice that because we always say like and I tell my team too like I don't know what I don't know so if you're not telling someone what's going on like we really don't know and so like we want to be that person for you guys um let me just look at this Um, it kind of just was going over like being self-aware. So knowing when like shit's not good and like getting bad. So uh, we made up a code word when like shit's not going well. So we like text each other that rather than being like, I'm not okay. You know, it's not fun to admit that. Um, so being like self-aware when things are getting bad, um, just because with this business, it's all up here. And we always say that's that's why we're doing Mindset Monday so just know that you can truly overcome it. And like you said, what was it? I will always get through. <laughs> um, and then another point that I just kind of want to touch on that kind of took me back to um, like Monation's show, what was it? 20, 2021 20, with Ed Milet. But um, talking about like taking messy action and just like not knowing like honestly what the fuck is going on in your business sometimes and like kind of just like faking it because you're just so unsure <laughs> yes daddy ed um and like sometimes you're just gonna be like what is going on like am I even like progressing and as long as you just take messy action moving forward you are always going to be in that motion, in that flow that we want to keep. We always talk about momentum in the business and keeping that momentum because once you fall off like the gym, it is so hard to get back in there, get back on and like rebuild what you, you know, had going. So, um, you know, if you're feeling like I'm just not sure what I'm doing that's normal and like reach out to your mentor because they can help you kind of navigate those feelings and like that confidence with your business and yourself but also like knowing that this is like the long haul you know like we kind of touched on this the last call but right now with network marketing all of the quick success is it's going away now that like COVID things are back to normal, like jobs are going well. So this is the long haul and like, get ready to run your, you know, marathon. It's not a right race. I messed that up last week, but, um, just get ready and like, know that you're going to want to quit. And that's like why we have that team and that support. So we can just really pour into each other. And then like referring back to Ed Milet, Daddy Ed, where <laughs> he said, you know, like, if you want to quit, just do one more day. 
and like okay just do one more day and if you still want to quit tomorrow then like we'll talk about it Mm -hmm. but like just do one more day don't throw the towel and just do one more day and go from there but those were like our main points did you have anything else you want to I just have a little thing last thing that I want to say and it's kind of piggybacking off of how she was talking about how this is the long haul um and also her one of her earlier points was um Oh gosh, I just had it and it, it ran away. Okay. It it was uh being graceful with yourself when it comes to time periods. Like you can't compare yourself um to like a certain time period and and the um exceptions. You have to compare yourself to the role and like what's happening right now. Yeah. Um so I just wanted to list this out for you. So <clears throat> it's never too late to start over, do what you love change reclaim your health apologize be who you want to be do better love and get your life together never too late dang those are good thanks look at you (laughs) (laughs) guys I'm so proud of B she said she wasn't gonna lead a call this month but here she is yeah that was my depression speaking (laughs) that was so bad that's how you show up for your business so that's what we have for you guys I hope this was helpful and we love you guys and keep um keep going do one more the power of one more court always preaches that and you guys have a great Monday love you let's stop this recording